Video 0402, Shared Parameters. From your Chapter 4 folder, open up the file, Chapter 4, Shared Parameters Start. The first thing that you need to know about shared parameters is that they are stored in a text file. Generally, some sort of manager will have set this up for you, unless you're the manager, of course. Autodesk made a good start with their shared parameter file that's distributed on Seek. And there are also the other standards like ANZRS. To set up or just set your shared parameter file, go to the Manage tab and click on Shared Parameters. Here, if the shared parameter file has not yet been set, you can browse and find your shared parameter file. Here under the documentation folder, I've included the ANZRS version 3 shared parameters. And I'm going to select the MEP version. In this file, you can see that we've got some parameter groups. So I could select mechanical equipment and find some standard shared parameter names. I don't have to use this shared parameter file all the time. I can swap them, so if I'm creating an architectural family, I can browse and open up another shared parameter file. Here we've got parameter groups for casework, columns, curtain panels, doors, etc. Let's actually take a look at one of these shared parameter files. You can see the file extension is a TXT file, so we should be able to open this in Notepad. And here's the shared parameter file itself. There are a few comments at the top. This is a Revit shared parameter file. Well, we know that. The next line is important though. Do not edit manually. If you're tempted to come in here and change names to suit the way you want the name to appear, then it's slapping time. You must not edit this manually. If you want a parameter with another name, then you need to go and create it. There are Revit add-ins, however, that will allow you to do these changes, but they're add-ins that you do have to pay for. As a point of interest, here we have the groups which we can see in the Revit file. Let's put them side by side. I've got a group called Air Terminals, Communication Devices, Doors, etc. So this is the MEP shared parameter file. And under the groups, we have the different parameters. First off, we have this thing called a GUID. This is a unique identifier that Revit generates itself. Next is the name. There we have the name of the parameter, and then its data type, HVAC velocity, the group that it belongs to. So here's group one, which was for air terminals and whether the parameter is visible or not. Just like work sharing, shared parameters need careful planning and management. The people involved with ANZRS have put a considerable amount of time and effort into making sure that these parameters work with designers and industry. So let's swap that shared parameter list back to the MEP one and click on OK. Now, go back to the Create tab, the Family Types dialog box, and we'll add a parameter. This time, we're going to select a shared parameter. Notice how the parameter data is automatically grayed out. So we'll select a parameter, change the parameter group to Mechanical Equipment, and select Equipment Width. Click on OK. Now see how even the name of the parameter is greyed out. I can't change anything. The only thing I can change is where I can group that parameter under. Let's click OK, and you can see that we've now added equipment width into our set of parameters. Clicking on Modify only allows me to change the grouping, or whether it's a type or instance. For now, I'm going to remove this and it asks me, do I want to delete that parameter? And I'll say yes. What I want to do finally with this exercise is show you that you can change a family parameter into a shared parameter. So let's select the width, go back to Modify, and select Shared Parameter. 
click on select. We'll go back to the mechanical equipment and we'll select equipment width. Click on OK and OK again. The width parameter has now been changed to equipment width. And any formulas that had width in it have also been changed. This means that initial stages of design for your family, you could just go through with family parameters. Once you're happy with it, change them to shared parameters and use the standards.